Greetings and welcome along to another book of the week. This week it's Land by Faye Godwin, published in 1984 with an essay by John Foles and an introduction by Ian Jeffrey. It's a remarkable collection of some of the finest landscape photography you're ever going to see. I think I'm particularly liking it because it's black and white, which is somewhat unusual for landscape work and it's primarily presented in a square format she was a, an amazing lady an absolutely amazing lady she really should probably should be a hero for many many of us i'll link in the notes below um, to some videos about her and showing her working which you can find here on youtube but she was an absolute legend and these photographs are for me very very special when i first got the book i actually wasn't all that blown away by it but over time I've come to value it more and more. And talking of value, here's where things get really interesting. As you can see, my copy's sort of reasonably faded. You can get this for about £7 online in the UK from a number of different sources. So, you know, definitely worth picking up. I'll just read a few notes from the essay. As, as you probably saw, I sort of marked out many of the passages in the essay for sort of special attention. A photograph is neither a history nor a guidebook, and cannot tell us of all the human facts behind a landscape, yet it can suggest this deep use or hidden human past behind what the print outwardly shows. The camera cannot really reveal the grim truth that now lurks in the fields, the copses and woods, the distant valleys and hillsides of contemporary Britain. This is written in 1984. We have done unimaginably dreadful things to our countryside in these last 50 years. Foles goes on to, well, he's sort of almost giving a lecture about what landscape is in, in different types of art um, and then relating it to photography with Faye Godwin's work. Um, he talks about landscape artists as instinctively avoiding the ugly, the common, the monotonous, or, where the subject is intrinsically beautiful, the poor angles, light, weather conditions and the rest. Even at the humblest amateur level, we struggle to lose telephone wires, cars, people, all that spoils our highly conventional idea of the good photograph. But this is an extremely selective process, and can soon degenerate into the photographer pitting his or her wits and expertise, however slight, against the truth of the landscape to be captured. To photograph is by no means necessary to photograph the reality, only too often it is for both photographer and audience to photograph a myth.
As I hope you agree, these are remarkable photographs from a remarkable photographer. And the essay is really well written 40 years ago now, but I feel like this collection of work, this, this book as a kind of a collective of the essay and the actual photographs which go with it and, and Faye's kind of attitude and her way of working really stands as almost the last word in landscape photography. And I say this as somebody who absolutely adores the work of Charlie Waite and Joe Cornish and, and other beautiful landscape photographers who create such impactful work. But something about Faye Godwin's work really strikes a chord with me, and I hope it has with you. <laughs> 